Hello YouTube, Matt here with a little project video. This is my latest project, which is a desk tidy. Um, I think this is probably my first non-electronics project for which I've done a little show and tell here on YouTube. Um, I'm super pleased with it, although note that I am not a woodworker by any means. Um, but I went on to Gosforth Handyman's YouTube channel um, about how to paint MDF, which wasn't obvious to me. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he does a lot of woodwork and high-end DIY. So I saw one of these desktop stands in a school I was working in. Um, it's really just a way to get more desk space so I can stow my laptop underneath the monitor stand and give space for other items. That's where the laptop goes, just there. So a quick tour. Uh, docking station is under this low height shelf here. This is a USB-C type dock with two of the USB ports exposed. Um, all the wiring just gets pushed to the back behind this dock and it's hidden by the shelf and there's just enough room in there for a, an external USB disc as well. Um, above that we have an inbox shelf, uh, wide enough for A4 papers. Um, so, so yeah, this is purpose-built because I do a lot of photo editing um, and so I made myself the exact height for my laptop to fit in. Uh, with just enough space to put my fingers underneath, lift the laptop, then fit my thumb over the top to pull it out. One of the nice things about making these yourself is that even though the build quality might not be amazing, uh, the point is you can still spec it perfectly to your needs. Um, so you can see there's some reinforcement downstands at the back um, because it's a very heavy monitor, this one. Um, obviously they follow through to the tier above so the mass is transferred down. Um, also they act as kind of stoppers when you put the laptop in so that it sits flush with the front edge, um, uh, which is quite nice. So not quite so much the Wacom pad above um, because the Wacom pad is a bit bigger and I didn't want to make the stoppers uh, smaller at the back on that section. But it does mean that you can kind of get your fingers around it because uh, there's not as much space to pull it, out, pull it out. So that means you can easily, more easily pull it out. Uh, so over here on the right, on the bottom shelf, under the bottom shelf, we've got a soldering iron station with the iron here, um, some vernier calipers, um, uh, the soldering iron stand there, um, and space for like just shoving wires. Um, and one of the requirements was that it could fit two Chinese takeaway boxes side by side, um, so that's part of the reason for its width. Um, we uh, I <clears throat> that's the mess of Chinese takeaway boxes on in the bedroom there and we won't talk about that but basically they'll all go on top as well um, it's a bit of a mess but so there it is hope you've enjoyed it um, I'll talk about the construction it was made from 9mm MDF glued and screwed um, I used 3mm screws which were 25mm long for this for, for screwing the tops in and some of the sides and basically filled and sanded all the holes um, the downstands or the kind of the vertical pieces are kind of two MDFs thick um, for extra rigidity. Um, when it actually came to painting, I gave it um, one coat of acrylic water-based primer. Um, uh, I filled the edges there as well to because they weren't looking that great. Um, but there's a bit of sanding and filling and sanding and filling um, to give a nice edge, as nice edge as possible. Um, anyway, I yeah, gave it a coat of acrylic water-based primer, then a coat of quick dry gloss. Um, basically just use the same stuff suggested by Gosforth Handyman. Um, I actually had to paint the insides of the shelf sections before uh, putting certain parts together. Um, so I kind of did the painting piecemeal, but I think it worked out just about okay. So I'll quickly just show you the docking station. We've got about one, two, three, four, five, six cables coming in, um, which means a lot of cable shoved in that little gap. Um, but it does all just about fit quite nicely. You can just kind of push it back, um, push it back in like that and just kind of forget all the cables exist and they all kind of go in there and they're all hidden away. Um, so it's quite nice, really. It was my first um, MDF uh, project. In fact, it's my first vaguely anything nice fit outy kind of thing. Um, and so it's not perfect by any means. Um, when you look close up, it's some kind of dodgy edges or whatever, but I'm not really bothered. Um, it's um, something I'm quite pleased with. So I hope you enjoyed watching this little show and tell. Thanks for watching.